very dark, very deep role for you, very different from some of the characters that you've taken on before. Mm. I know you're very proud of this character as well as a director behind the lens and just seeing what Nicole's done. How did you feel taking on this role and what took you to that place to get there? Mm. Um, I was just thrilled to have the opportunity. I mean, as, as an actor, we're all looking for things that are complicated and rich and um, deep, as you say, and but still um, in the in a in a great story. Yeah. And right. So to have the this sort of female in this thriller noir um, mm -hmm. genre is just a fantastic opportunity. Knowing that she was able to take it on and she was willing to do it, desperate. You, to do <laughs> <laughs> you used it, the desperate word. <laughs> but to take that on as an actor, it's very difficult to kind of just transition all the time anyway. But knowing what she did and going into that role, you had said in an interview that you're very proud of this. This is one of your favorite characters oh, to yeah. see come to life. How yeah. did she do with this role? And were you just so, like, just amazed every time you've seen? Well, I mean, that was no. one of the pleasures of, yes. No. <laughs> What? No. Don't, you no, can't answer for yeah. me. No, <laughs> you can't answer for me. Um, I was going to say, in fact, every day was the pleasure of, oh. did involve the pleasure of seeing an actor working at a level I had never encountered before. And I've worked with some really, really wonderful actors, but this sustained obsession uh, and <laughs> obsession and and physical embodiment right. and and spiritual embodiment you know it almost it almost created a situation in which i don't think i knew nicole mm. while i was working on the film because i was really working with aaron bell i was yeah. really right. i was really aaron. working with the character which is what you like when you're putting a film together you can see that character yeah i mean and so to be able to kind of now have this time where Nicole and I can reconnect as as people and as friends and as colleagues it's like it's so it makes me see all the more that you know every day Nicole showed up on set it was kind of like Nicole had checked herself at at the door and mm. another person had walked on set and it was yeah. a, you know that's a real gift for a director to get to witness but watching you in this when you go home, like you said, you felt like Nicole checked out, and then we got Aaron in there. Mm. How did you check out of Aaron to go back to Nicole? Because yeah. that's very hard. You've got kids. Mm. You're married. Mm. You have a whole life outside of your career as well. Mm. So how do you check out of that? Um, mm. that it's <laughs> always a family decision when I do a film because um, that it, it requires um, commitment from the family as well. When you're artistic, people and I, anyone in any profession a lot of times it requ the requires family support so yeah. I have a really strong su support team in terms of my children and my husband and they knew what it takes and they're fascinated by it themselves um, but obviously I you know I'm still mommy but right. <laughs> I'm carrying the weight of this person in me yeah and it orbits around me and it's definitely kind of penetrates me on a cellular level and that's just a that's the nature of being mm -hmm. an actor who's committed to what they do and that's just part of it and then it finishes it's a finite time and you step away from it until the character ends and you get yeah. to go back sort yeah. of yeah. Like and you a shed, little bit yeah you shed it and you walk away and go gosh that was intense and there's you know this was this is very unusual because obviously there's I do. I rarely do lead roles now, so this was a <laughs> big thing for me, and yeah. um, and it was also the most intense thing I've done really since the hours. So it was a it similar was a place to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you did say it sheds. <clears throat> um, she curses a lot in this film. The character, right? Nicole is a person. I you never curse. I, you don't curse. You, so no. in real life, even no. after doing this, never. No. I just don't. That is good. Huh? Yeah, and you barely um, drink. I had oh. a yeah, <laughs> and I had a father who never ever. Wow. Um, I so never heard him swear. So. so it's instilled in you, kind of. I don't not know. I just find it. I think I heard very early on as as a child. I just heard, find other words, find words hmm. that um, look for the because you know there is the vocabulary out there, but you know, but as soon as I step into the character, oh, come on. <laughs> Like a sailor. You Did were you like feel a sailor. <laughs> you, were li you were like a sailor. Did I you mean, feel good, though? Get it to all out Yeah, there. I was going to say, did it feel good to let the release happen? 
Um, it's interesting because I think as an actor you do get to live these lives um, and they are lives and you exist in a different realm for a period of time and so there is a way. It's a fantastic thing about being an actor is we get to be other people, we get to see the world, we get to um, be in the mind and the body of another person. Without so changing we get yourself, to, yeah. And then we go back to ourselves. Yeah. That's pretty extraordinary. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can highly recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try Anyone that. Anyone that wants I to be to an actor, <laughs> it's a great life. I have it to really try to be is. you because I do curse too much. So mm -hmm. You do? <laughs> I do. It's disgusting. Um, now. I have no judgment. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Female director. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is like so crazy that we even have to mention this, but it feels so good to have women behind the camera. Sure. I know this was something that you wanted to make known to people. I want to start working on more films with women directors. How do you feel now? Well, we're here. We're getting it done. The ladies are, they're, we're, we're making more moves mm -hmm. towards it. What does it feel like? And especially again, working with Nicole. Well, I mean, I, being able to tell the story of interesting people's lives, but particularly interesting women's lives, and to be able to then partner with an actor who shares that hope that we could be seeing more complicated people on yeah. screen, um, mm -hmm. that's that's what feels gratifying to me. I've been really lucky to be doing this for you know close to 20 years, but it's nice that now there are actors who can say, you know what, I want to make a commitment to working with more women and then not just say it, but do it. Do and it. Um, that's, that's a, you know, that's a, that feels like positive change. Yeah, because that's it's how good. we do change yep. it. And there's so many talented women out there that are just not given the opportunities. And it's not just once, they need to be right. given them numerous times yes. because that's how you build yes. a career, Yeah. right? So, so true. <laughs> and finally, so. I just want to say, because I know you guys are busy, got to get out of here, Golden Globes. Yes. We're kicking off the year. Congratulations, by the way, for the Amazing. nomination. Amazing. Yeah, to get that um, nomination for this film, it's it's our nomination, and mm -hmm. um, it represents this film, and it represents um, complicated women yeah. and mm -hmm. female directors, mm -hmm. and it's like, thank you to the Hollywood Foreign Press for that acknowledgement. It's huge yeah. for us. It's a big deal. Huge. Yes.